so you've come in today, you've seen Jono, yeah. fixed up, looks sharp, fantastic. <laughs> Um, for the brown note, right? So Monday night. Yeah, Monday night. Yeah. What uh, we we're just talking before about who's going down for that? So you and a few of the boys are going. Yeah, there's um, uh, myself, Lockie Neal, Q McLuggage, Daniel Rich, and Charlie Cameron have all been invited. Yep. Um, and then a few of those boys have been a bit lazy getting partners organised. Yeah, so red cup is going to be interesting. They're right? bringing a couple of boys with them yep. as well. So uh, Hugh's bringing his housemate Jared Berry, and um, Charlie's bringing uh, one of our. Uh, Reserves players has played reserves all year. He used to play for the Brisbane Bullets as well. Um, Tom Fullerton. So uh, there's going to be a few rowdy boys, I reckon, on uh, Monday night. But you know, hopefully we can walk away with a winner. I think Lockie has got a great chance. Yeah. So that that's the talk, right? Like sort of between him and maybe Paddy Cripps and Dangerfield. That, yep. That they sort of you see those guys being the top three. You think you'll be up there? Getting uh, this year? I think I might get a few votes. Yeah. Uh, certainly not as many as Lockie, but yeah. um, you know, I think. Those guys, along with um, Nat Fife, are probably the real, um, are the real favourites. But the fact that we've been able to win a lot more games this year, I think, certainly favours in Lockie's um, department. And hopefully that you know he's such a strong start to the season, and he was really the dominant player um, for us in that first half of the season. Hopefully he can get all the votes and. Um, he's walking around with a, a Chaz Brownlow on his um, neck at the end of the night. Be fantastic. It would. So, Dane, for those of us who haven't had the privilege of going to a Brownlow, yeah. um, bit of an insight. What's the night like? How does it play out? It's obviously a massive affair. Yeah, um, you know, we all sort of get red carpeted um, from 5:45 onwards, and uh, then you just all go in the in the main room. Everyone's having drinks. Everyone's uh, there's a lot of actual radio stations like Triple M will be in there. Um, sort of doing interviews. On the all way. interviews on the, yeah. on the all on the way uh, into actually us getting seated. So yeah. um, they'll just have someone with a microphone on the floor and they'll just stop you for questions or whatever it may be. So uh, that's a pretty cool part of it. Yeah. Um, and then everyone just gets to mingle and it's great seeing um, ex teammates. So we've got a few ex teammates yeah. that'll be there this year. Um, you know, players that you've certainly looked up to in your career that are there. Obviously, round low winners um, all get invited back. So it really is a fantastic night. And, um, then we have a sit-down meal and then the vote count starts. Yeah, and that's kind of the boring bit as well. Right? Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> the vote count does drag on. So, yeah, it does. Uh, and it tends to get a bit rowdy towards the end of the night. We've seen some uh, interesting incidents in previous years. I think Fev had a, had a good year one year, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Got Fev, yeah, Fev uh, took over the mic at one yeah. point there and uh, probably wasn't probably isn't going to go on his highlight reel, let's just say that. But um, yeah, it is. It's, and it's good to see players um, get the opportunity to let their hair down and um, have a lot of fun and I guess the vote count is the bit that really drags on in the end but um, you know the winner thoroughly deserves it and um, everyone's there for that for that person so it's um, it really is a good night and uh, it's great to experience it and to be in the room with such great legends of the AFL. Yeah. And there's obviously four teams who have got players who aren't going to be having such an enjoyable night. Yep. Certainly, I'm assuming they're not going to be having a beer. Yep. Um, now, who's who's your tip? So we've got the two prelim finals coming up. Yep. We've got, uh, Collingwood GWS. Yep. Uh, and tonight we've got Richmond uh, Geelong. Richmond Geelong. Yeah. So uh, for me, I'll go to the Collingwood game first because I think um, there are lay down is there to win. I just think without having Green and Whitfield, it's really going to be impossible for the Giants. They've battled on really well all year. Um, and it, it won't be a walk in the park for Collingwood, but I think they'll certainly win. And then tonight, I don't know, I can either see a blowout to Richmond or Geelong just hanging in there and winning. So uh, I'm, incli I'm inclined to go with Richmond in the blowout. Um, but I certainly won't be surprised if Geelong wins. There's, they've got some players in there that have played a lot of finals. Joel Selwood, um, they've got match winners in Dangerfield. Um, big out with Hawkins though. It is a big out, yeah. it is a big out, but um, I think they can cover that. I really do, and um, if Dangerfield has to play more time forward, um, you know, I think he's certainly adequate in, in that department. So, if it's not a significant blowout, I think Geelong can win. So, if they're through to the granny, let's assume it's Richmond yeah. Collingwood. <laughs> who's who's going to take it out? Uh, I think that's what we're all kind of hoping for, right? I, like, yeah. I think so. Um, I think I'm going Collingwood. Yeah? Yeah, I really am. Like, yeah. Cool upset. I think they will. I think they've got um, the experience of last year will certainly help um, going down to West Coast. But I think if Dugowie can play on Saturday night and get through, I think he's a real X factor for them, similar to what Dustin Martin is for Richmond. So uh, if Collingwood get there against Richmond on either team, either way, if, um, whoever wins 
tonight. I don't think it'll matter. I think Collingwood will win. Yeah, right. Yep. All right. Well, there you have it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> thanks for the tip, mate. Uh, good luck Monday night. Thank and, you. Uh, thanks for your support. Appreciate Pleasure. It. Thank you. Yes.